Greetings, dear viewers. I am Billy Buck, and today we'll be taking a look at another mock of mine. Now, before we start, some of you who have seen my DeviantArt page may know another Fire Toa of mine, Tabor's. Yeah, about that, I kinda ended up scrapping him when I was updating my team. I figured he was just a bit too beastly, but if I were to continue making more Bionicles and get more parts, I'll be sure to rebuild them as a next generation. With that said, let's introduce the new guy. This is Pakaru, Toa of Fire. Pakaru is the fiery fighter of the Toa team, and the most valiant of them. He fights to protect all Matoran and his fellow Toa, putting their livelihoods over his own. Even before he became a Toa, he was willing to serve to protect, assisting the previous Toas as best he could. Oh, I kinda glossed over some parts in previous mock reviews such as mask powers. So to make up for that, let's go over them! To those not in the know, mask powers are, as the name suggests, superpowers that come from the masks in Bionicle, such as flight, speed, super strength, etc. Generally, these masks are reserved for the Toas. Bakaru's mask power is Konohi Panga, Mask of Impact. This mask grants him the power to manipulate the force of his own attacks. Imagine if he were to punch you, the impact becomes more like getting hit by a car. However, there is a limit to how much he can increase the force of the impact. Imagine if he were to flick you and it would hurt like an actual punch. But that would be the full extent of that flick. He still has to hit much harder to inflict even more damage. Next up is Tamara. Her mask power is Kanohi Takanga, Mask of Sense. Her mask grants her the power to sense everything around her in a 10 meter radius, allowing her to be aware of any dangers nearby and ample time to respond. And finally, Odinu's mask, Konohi Kaha, Mask of Strength. His mask increases his strength and power up to tenfold. Back to Bakaru. Design-wise, I want to make him, well, heroic. Make him like the poster boy of an adventure series. If I was being a yes, series. <clears throat> I made this guy to be a fiery hero, like something out of a tokusatsu. I built him with red armor, with gold and some silver accenting bits, making him pop out. The shins and feet kind of remind me of the Mega Man aesthetics. Then there are his swords. They're... not the best, I will admit. I mean, the silhouette looks awesome, but the blades are not the right color. If this blade was the same light orange as this blade, or if this blade was the same translucent red and yellow as this blade, then the sword would have been perfect. But, oh well. He holds them well and can make decent poses with them. Plus the red flame shields on the hilts make great guard for his hands. He can even store them on his back. Just flip these pieces out and plug them in. Now he looks like he has a jetpack and can take off. Now, if you think he's useless in the air without swinging his sword, well, now comes the fun part. Flip up these gold pieces, and you reveal a six-piece stud shooter. Just bend the gear on his back, and watch the pieces fly! He uses to dive bomb and bombard his enemies. And now for the articulation, which was also something I lost over in the previous mock reviews. Time to make up for that one, too! First, we start with Pakaru. Ball joint at the head. Ball joint at the shoulder, hinge ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, swivel at the waist, ball joint at the hip, hinge ball joint at the knee, and ball joint at the foot. Next is Tamara. Ball joint at the head, ball joint at the shoulder, hinge ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, nothing at the waist, hinge ball joint at the base, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint at the hip, hinge ball joint at the first knee, ball joint at the other knee, and ball joint at, I guess, the feet. And finally, Odinu. Ball joint at the head and the base of the neck. Ball joint at the shoulder. Double ball joint at the elbow. Ball joint at the wrist. Nothing at the waist. Ball joint at the hip. Hinge ball joint at the knee. And ball joint at the foot. Phew. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Overall, I like what he did. For the most part. If I could just fix the blade, then he would be just perfect. Other than that, he's good. That's all the time I have for now, but I'll catch you guys next time. Take care!